dreams and miracles. Five amazing stories that will bring hope and encouragement. Penny loved aquariums. Hey, Penny, come on in. She was saving all she had to get one. We can't afford an aquarium like that, honey. It costs a lot of money. You'll have to wait and, and save up for one, honey. That'll take a while. But when a friend's needs were more important, she gives all, only to receive a miracle that amazes family and friends. Grace, a compassionate hospice worker, is going room to room, visiting terminally ill patients. You're in a mighty chipper mood today. Gracie, I have a reason to be. My boy, my boy, he came to my room yesterday morning. Right about sunrise. I haven't seen him in 25 years. Your boy? I thought you didn't have any yet. He came from heaven. He told me I have to be good to people and that he's coming for me. He's coming for me this Friday at 12 noon. This is a story you won't forget. Jim and Sally loved to dance when they were young. That's how they met, dancing. They danced all of their lives. They're gone now. But a week after Jim's death, his daughter Susie receives a most unusual letter exclaiming that they're still dancing in heaven. Grandma, can I please have four, please? Just one now, honey. Dinner will be ready in 15 minutes. If you eat all your carrots, you can have some more later. John Schaefer loved his grandmother. She died when he was very young. He lost his faith in God for many years. And then one night, on a dark, dangerous road, as he falls to sleep behind the wheel of a car, a miracle takes place that reignites his faith forever. Two hikers are on their annual October climb of California's Mount Whitney. They're spending the night at base camp. It's a quiet, dark evening when suddenly a vision in the night sends them rescuing two other climbers from certain death. Dreams and miracles. Five amazing stories that will bring hope and encouragement.